Hello. Modifying a PS3 game such as Armored Core Verdict Day uh, might seem as a pretty daunting proposition, which is why I've decided to create this instructional video that it will guide you through the process and hopefully at the end you will see that it is not as scary as it might seem. Let's get to it. Underneath this video in the description you will find the links to join the Armored Core Discord server. After joining the server, please follow the link to find the post with mode download and links to the tools that we will need. If Discord is being weird about the link to the post, you can also go to the 5th gen channel, find the th modding thread for PCVD and find the post I'm gonna be talking about in the pinned messages. Uh, first things first, let's grab the modified files themselves. I'm gonna be using the all-in-one package, but you are able to choose from the separate modified files packages and uh, install only the stuff that you want or you like. After grabbing the files, go, the DV uh, go and grab the DVD and binder tool, which we will use to extract and then repackage the game. Got it. And now the Yabber tool which we will also use to extract and then repackage certain types of archives inside the game. All right, all set. Uh, let's extract the downloaded tools and modified files into separate folders. And after doing that, what you have to do is go to the DVD Unbinder folder and open the DVD Unbinder EXE. It will ask you for header file, data file, dictionary and output directory. Let's locate all of those. The header file is going to be inside of the files for the game itself. So press the B button and locate where your game is situated. After that Go inside, PS3 game, USR deer, bind deer, and you are in the correct place. So it is asking us for a header file, which will be a BHD at the end. Double click it, it selected it, great. Now press the B button again and file the BDT file, so a data file it is asking us for, great. Got both of those. Now it is asking us for a dictionary. Press the B button again and this time go into the DVD Unbinder folder that we have extracted. It will have a REST folder inside and a DICT folder inside. You have to select the ACVD dictionary file. Double click it, selected it, great. Now for the output directory we have to pick one that already exists or create one. I'm gonna make a new file uh, folder on the desktop and name it ACVD Unpacked. Select this folder, click OK, all set. Do not change any other settings and press the Unpack button and wait for it to finish. Once the count has reached nearly 17,000 files, you know that the program has finished the process of unpacking the game files and you can safely close it. Uh, please now go into your unpack directory. You will be greeted by this file structure. Before we can insert the modified files into the game, we still need to extract some archives inside of the game to prepare them to accept the modified files. For that, we are going to be using the Yeber tool that we have downloaded earlier. Open the Yeber folder and let's unpack the necessary archives. First thing we need to unpack for the mod that we will be using is the SFX archive. So go into the SFX folder, find the archive, drag it onto the Yeber exe. It does its thing and extracts us the files and folders that we need. Now you can delete 
the original archive and move on to the next folder. Next folder we will need to extract is in the bind directory. Go into the bind directory, find the boot.bnd archive and drag and drop it onto Yabber. It will create a folder and now you can delete the boot.bnd. And inside the created boot-bnd folder, you go inside, you find the shader folder, you find the filter sh shader.bnd, drag and drop it onto Yabber. We have successfully extracted it and now delete the filter shader.bnd uh, shader uh, archive. Okay, now we have prepared all the necessary folders to accept our modifications. After doing so, we return to the ACVD unpacked or whatever you have called it folder, which houses all of the unpacked game files, and we are ready to insert the modified files. So we go into the downloaded modified files folder, select the files that we want, drag and drop them into the directory. It asks us to replace the files into destination. We agree. It overrides the necessary files. Great. Now we need to use Yabber again to repackage uh, the archives inside of the game. So go into Yabber, prepare it. And let's go in the opposite direction of what we were doing with the Eber before. So go into bind folder, go into boot bind, and go into the shader folder. There you see our extracted filter shader folder. You drag and drop it onto Yabber, it repackages it, and now you have to delete the filter shader dash bnd folder. That's it, we are done here. Now back off until you see the boot dash bnd folder, you drag and drop it onto Yabber. It has created an archive and you have to delete this folder. Now back again and go into the SFX folder. Again, drag and drop onto Yabber. It has created a necessary archive and we can safely delete the folder. After doing all of this, we have modified the necessary files and need to repackage the game back again so we can play it. For doing that, we need to use the DVD Unbinder tool again, which has inside a rebinder.exe. It will ask you again for a header file, a data file, input directory, output directory. So let's get to it. A header file, data name file, you do not change. Input directory, you go to browse and you select the unpacked folder, press OK. Output directory, I recommend for you to select the folder where the game files are residing, the files that you were using to play the game, the files that you were using to extract the game. So go there. Navigate to the USRDIR bind folder and press the repack button. It will ask you if you want to replace the header and the data file. You agree and just wait for the process to finish. Okay, all done. Now, what we have to do next is to go into the emulator folder. So, wherever you have installed your RPCS3 emulator, open that folder, go into the dev hdd0 folder, go into the game folder inside, and find the whatever your Armor Core Verdict Day serial number is, dash install folder. You need to delete this folder in order for all the modifications to apply. 
After deleting this folder, please launch the RPCS emulator itself. Inside the emulator we need to do one last thing before we can play, which is to right click the game, select remove and select remove all caches. Right, great. And at this point we are done. We can launch the game and test if our changes have applied. And once in the game, go to the workshop. Uh, if you see any glitches such as black AC or uh, any other weird elements on the screen, this is because you have just deleted the shader cache. This is normal, it will clear up on subsequent uh, game launches. So go into the, for example, tutorial or AC test and take a look if your modifications have applied. For example, the ones that I have installed remove shader grain from scan mode, remove the clouds that fly in front of your vision on certain maps, uh, also for example remove the blur at the edges of the screen when you are glide boosting and some other stuff. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful and it will allow you to install the mods yourself from me and other modders for Armor Core Vertex Day. So if you have any questions please ask and until next time.